Hello children. Do you like to play games? Yes. Yes, ma'am. Ma yes. Everybody likes to play games. So which game do you like to play? Yes. My computer is computer game. Do you know how people used to play in the ancient times? Hmm. No, ma'am. Okay. So there were a number of traditional games that were played by the people. Dear children, now I am going to tell you about some traditional games of India. Look at the picture. Do you know who this person is? This is Mulkraj Anand, one of the famous Indian writers in English. In this chapter, Mulkraj Anand recalls the games that he played as a young boy. So are you ready children? Yes, yes ma'am. Okay, so let's start. <laughs> Excited talking and laughter. Shouts of joy and despair. These are the sounds of street games of India. Mulkraj Anand's interest in playing street games begin early. One of his earliest memories is playing the game of goli. The game is played with marbles which were collected by breaking the necks of old soda water bottles. Sometimes the children bought colorful marbles to play this game. To play the game, each player has to have a goli or marble. A little hole is dug into even ground with the heel of the foot. Each player then kneels on the ground six feet away from the hole. Then with their fingers they strike their goli, trying to get them into the hole. Shouts of can be heard when one succeeds in striking another goli out of the way. The player who gets all the goalies into the hole first is the winner. The game which Mulkraj Anand enjoyed the most was Ankh Micholi or Blind Man's Buff. In this game, one player covers their eyes with a piece of cloth. The others hide in different places and the blind man looks for them. Playing blind man's buff game with a large group requires more skill. Each one is so clever at hiding that the blindfolded man roams about hearing the others shout but unable to touch any of them. Sometimes the older boys used the game as a trick on Mulkraj Anand when they did not want him to play with them. Although he remembered crying many times when they did this. He enjoyed this game even when he became older. The other game which Mulkraj Anand used to play was spinning a lattu or top. This game requires a deft hand and enough pocket money to buy the tops made of wood or mud. A string is wrapped around the lower part of the top. This is tossed to the ground with a hard jerk and the string is released, causing the lattu to spin and spin. The other game which reminds Mulkraj Anand to play is Kabaddi. The player must be quick and strong. You also need the ability to hold your breath for long and to be a master of battle tactics since playing this game is almost like a real warfare. A line is drawn on sand or soft earth. Two teams with 5 to 10 players or more stand on either side of the line. A member of one team crosses the line chanting Kabaddi under his breath without stopping. 
if he is able to touch one or two players from the opposing team while saying kabaddi the person he touches is dead the visitor then runs back to his side however if the visitor is caught or he stops saying kabaddi he is dead the teams take turns to visit each other until all the members of one team are dead kabaddi 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 so students these were some of the famous street games of india did you enjoy it yes ma'am dear students now look at the picture and identify this game yes this is tappu it is one of the traditional game of india which is mostly played by girls in this game one has to draw the outline of boxes on the ground with the help of a chalk then the player has to throw the stone in the first box and then jump on all the boxes except the first one after reaching the last box the player has to turn back and reverse so this is how stapu is being played i hope you have enjoyed this lesson Thank you.